All right. So the last question I have for you today, Dave, is what is the most important thing for authors to keep in mind during the review process? First of all, is you should try to avoid journals with really slow responses, really slow decision times, et cetera. Uh, these are simply not worth the trouble. It may be hard to know what journals those are, but if you hear bad news about an editor from somebody else, don't go submitting to that same journal. I would also say that articles do vary in quality, but the evaluation of these articles is always subjective. I have had so many reviews that contradict each other for the same article. Uh, so that means that if an article gets rejected, it may be due to the fit, or it might be that there's simply an unfavorable set of reviewers, and you should try not to take it too personally. <laughs> the third thing is that even if you disagree with the reviews, you should try to learn from them as much as possible. Some of the best reviews can be fairly negative reviews as long as they give you a lot of information on the sorts of things that might be there to improve your article. And make any changes that you think are going to be helpful and then send it out again. And finally, and relatedly, is do not see a negative decision on a submission as a reflection on the worth of the article or on your own self-worth as an academic. I've seen lots and lots of rejected articles end up becoming quite prominent. In fact, I remember uh, one article that had an enormous amount of trouble getting through the review process, and I just decided that it was worth publishing it anyways. And that article is one of the most highly cited articles that I have ever edited. So you need to be true to yourself when you submit, and you also need to be true to yourself when you think about how do you want to revise your article that comes back from the editor. Thanks for all of that insight. It's been really helpful and great to chat today. Thank you.